The rotor is something that allows us to change settings on the fly. So the way we can access the rotor, or the way we activate the rotor, is by using two fingers. Um, I prefer using two different hands so that it gives me a little bit more flexibility in terms of how I move. With one finger, I'm going to hold a stationary position on the screen. I prefer to do this around the 9 o'clock position towards the center of the left edge of the screen. And with the other finger, I'm going to draw a clockwise semicircle around this fingertip. And as I do that, you'll hear the different options that are available in the rotor. Double tap containers, characters, words. Okay. Right now I'm going to go to the word, to the characters attribute. Characters. And then I release my fingers. This now means that the rotor is set to, to characters, so everything that I do going forward will reflect that attribute. What does that mean? It means now with a single finger swipe down or up, it will move through different words or different letters and things of that nature, letter by letter, basically spelling out what I'm looking at. So I'm going to touch one of the icons here on the dog, mail, one new item. So I touch, double tap to open. So I touch the mail item on the dock. And now if I use a single finger swipe down, Again, anywhere on the screen, because now VoiceOver's focus is on the mail icon, it'll spell out the word mail, and then even the uh, suffix that is there that says there's one new item. Capital M, A, I, L, So, with, so at each letter that you hear is responding to a single finger swipe down. Come up, space, one, space, N, E, W, space, I, T, E, M, Mike. Okay, and then in reverse, if I flick my finger up, it'll go backwards, right? So it'll read the word item backwards, or it'll spell it backwards rather, and then so on and so forth until we get to the beginning of the of the uh, the mail, the word mail. M E T I space W E N space one space comma L I A capital M. And then once I get to the M, if I flick up, it won't let me go any further, right? So it gives me a thud. One thing to note is that as you place your fingers on the screen to activate the rotor, you may hear VoiceOver announce the name of a different icon. This is just an indication that you're touching that icon. But once you activate the rotor, the rotor becomes the main focus of the screen. Now, if I want to hear it word by word, I can change the rotor setting again. Maps. Double tap to open words. Doc. Mail. One new item. Double tap to open. I'm going to use the same icon. So I'm going to swipe down and you'll hear word by word. Mail. Mail. One. New. Item. Right. And then if I swipe up. Item. New. One. Mail. And this gives me some flexibility in terms of how I move through words or through a series of words. Sometimes I don't understand what the digital voice is saying, so spelling it out is helpful. And that's the rotor.